Hey guys, it's raining. So for this, I'm going to be decorating this canvas tote bag. This is what I use for my grocery shopping. I just don't like the design at all. I'm going to be painting this. I'm going to explain in a second why I'm doing this, but first I'm going to be telling you what I'm going to be using to paint this. I'll be using some white vinegar, some glycerin, water, equal parts of everything, starting with a tablespoon of each, and then adding my black acrylic paint. The reason that I'm mixing all of this is because I'm painting over fabric. This is kind of like a canvas fabric. I didn't have any fabric paint and because I'm using acrylic paint, acrylic paint when it dries and you paint over like fabric, even a piece of paper, hardens and it crusts when you fold it. Because it's hard, it cracks to avoid that and because again I didn't have any fabric paint, I'm using glycerin with some vinegar. I searched online back in the day, turns out people would use that, those two, to paint over fabric and you can use this as a homemade medium or if you're painting fabric, you can buy a medium online, a medium that you can mix with acrylic paint paint to turn it into a fabric paint if that makes sense i didn't want to buy it i wanted to test and show a homemade version of this i'm going to be painting inside as well one thing that i noticed is that it takes longer to dry as if you were just uh, painting with acrylic paint and just work outside or in a well ventilated area because we're using vinegar after all but after some days you won't be smelling that anyways and when you're done painting and you are just letting it dry the vinegar smells and doesn't linger it just goes away it kind of like smells smells like fabric paint. Then I'm going to be painting my pocket dots. For that, I'm going to be protecting my back from the other side with this craft mat that I do have the review on if you want to check it out. But I'm going to be using my mat and just placing it in between the two layers of my back. I'm going to be using this round sponge but the back of this as a big dotting tool. I'm going to be making the same mixture for my white acrylic paint by the way. Just added my water, glycerin, my white vinegar and pretty much stamping dots in a pocket dot pattern. Doing the same thing for both sides and then i'm going to be using this like amazon box pretty random but i needed something to just place inside my bag so i can have like a surface to paint the polka dots on both sides of my bag i'm going to be placing my mat again and this can that is like pretty random again this is my glass finish that i do for my phone cases i'm going to be placing that for like more height and then just pretty much stamping my polka dots for the sides until i have my tote bag covered in polka dots again this is the bag that i use for my grocery shopping i wanted to share with you just in case you love pocket that pattern just as much as i do and yeah i cannot wait to go grocery shopping with my bag i really like it hopefully you liked it too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up helps a lot check out more diys that i have on my channel and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye